boys and girls. I hope everyone is having a great summer. Right now, I'm in Boston visiting my sister, and right behind me is the Bunker Hill Monument. The story that I'm going to read for you today is The Ant and the Big Bad Bully Go. Author is Andrew Fusick Peters, and it's illustrated by Anna Wadham. Badger lived in a burrow by the forest. Everything was just so. His milk jug on the shelf, a store of honey in the cupboard, and grain in the kitchen pot. One fine summer's day, he went into the garden to pick cabbages for his soup. While he was out, a huge, bad old billy goat crept in the burrow and barred the door. Badger came back to see his door shut tightly. He knocked politely. Billy Goat answered through the window. Your house is all mine now. It serves you right for leaving it unlocked. Badger was angry, but the goat was bigger and badder than him. So off he went to see the old bull down the lane, who was feared by all animals in the village. Help me, bull. Billy Goat has stolen my burrow. You mean Billy Goat, with twisty horns as sharp as swords? The bull shivered in fear. Yes, that's the one, said Badger. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, replied Bull, but I'm in a bit of a rush. The farmer has told me to eat all the grass in this field by sundown. I wish I could be of more help. Why don't you go and ask for? On his way past his burrow, Badger heard the goat tip over his milk jug and slurp up all of his milk. Badger stomped off to see Boar. He was huge and fierce with tusks as sharp as crescent moons. Help me, Boar. Old Billy Goat has stolen my home. You mean that creature with cloven hooves that stump and squash whimpered the shaking Boar? Yes, that's the one, said Badger. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm on a very important job right now, guarding the forest against trespassers. He grunted loudly and charged around to show how big and scary he was. I wish I could be of more help. Why didn't you ask Bear? On the way past his burrow, Badger heard Billy Goat smash a jug and lick up all his honey. Badger stomped off to see Bear in her cave. She towered over Badger, the claws in her paws, cold cut and tree in half. Help me, Bear! Old Billy Goat has stolen my home. The ground rumbled as the, she answered, You mean the goat that pushes down walls with a head as hard as stone? Yes, that's the one, said Badger. Oh, well, you see, I have a lot of jobs to do before winter, gathering nuts and berries before my long sleep, so I can't help you right now. I'm terribly sorry. Badger wandered off and began to cry. It was hopeless. Across his path, there crowded a little ant. What's the matter, Badger? Badger stopped and studied the bug in the dust. See the ant down there. Nothing you can help me with, little ant. Well, why don't you tell me about it, and we'll see, suggested Ant. Badger told him the whole story, and Ant came up with a brilliant idea. But, my dear Ant, are you quite sure it will work, asked Badger. We can only try, said Ant. Badger nodded, and off they set. As they approached the burrow, Badger hid behind a tree. Goat had smashed open the grain pot and was busy stuffing himself. Ant crawled up the door and through the keyhole. He climbed onto the table and shouted as loud as he could, How dare you make such a mess of Badger's house? Leave right now and I will not harm you. Goat looked around, unable to see where the voice was coming from. He finally spied the little ant and burst out laughing. Listen, little fellow, you're a bit out of your depth here. Don't you know that I am the big, bad bully goat with sharp, twisty horns, cloven hooves, and a head as hard as stone? Prepare to meet your end. Just wait a second, replied Ant bravely. My words are sharp enough to finish you off, you greedy brute. Oh yes, prove it, growled Goat. Lean closer, shouted Ant, and feel the sting of my insults. Billy Goat leaned closer, and at that moment, Ant stung him right on the nose. You see, Goat, size isn't everything, cried Ant, leaping up and down in delight. As for Billy Goat, well, he screamed and his nose swelled up so much he couldn't see a thing. He blundered around the room, squeezed through the window, and fled through howling into the night. 
Badger ran out from his hiding place to thank Ant with all his heart. He saw that good things sometimes come in small packages. Ant and Badger became the best of friends and lived together in the burrow for the rest of their days. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your summer. It's going to go by quick and we'll see you soon.